Family shelter one another from harmful truths because they love, but really, they do it through their own selfish motives. But there are bigger moments when conceding the truth for the greater good can backfire. I was picked up from the bus stop after school and taken to a relative's house. I wasn't allowed home for the weekend or allowed to see my parents. I'd seen a police car outside our house. Something was wrong, but no one would tell me what. They wouldn't say a thing. Every time I asked, I always got ignored. I'd worried and panicked and imagined the worst, thought of every scenario possible. It was my mum or dad or grandma in trouble, but I didn't know who or why. Grind again. Oh, it's awful news. The body was found in the river. You can bring Gemma back now. All the police have gone. They're just about to leave. OK, bye. Everything I felt was multiplied with every passing second that I was kept away from my home. It was overwhelming, unbearable. I was driving myself insane. There was no longer a want I needed to know. My grandma had died. I was told on the third day. Gone missing and died. That alone was enough grief for an 11 year old to handle, let alone the grief and self-destruction I'd done to myself over the previous days of my isolation. My confidence was knocked and so was my trust. Any rational thought was no longer reachable within me. I was a mix of emotions with no clue how to handle it, no trust to tell someone, anyone. I felt so alone for so long. Maybe if I'd been told what was wrong, or who was concerned, then I could have avoided years of pain, years of having to rebuild my confidence and trust and ability of rational thought. Maybe I could have just grieved for my loss and not for myself but then maybe I wouldn't be who I am now.